Good day, everyone. It's Mark Clifford uh, from One Disease World Voice. This is going to be the first of a series of videos, and this video is going to take you pretty much about today what we're doing and what is planned for the future. Uh, this is for current writers, uh, people and friends that want to become writers for us, or reporters, editors, whatever it may be. And I just kind of want to put everything in perspective of where we're at today, where we plan to go. But to give you a little background real quickly, One Disease World Voice isn't old, it's fairly new. Uh, it came out of a three-year bunch of trials and errors with different sites, different community sites, that we thought we could help the community and change things. Our main mission has always been grassroots oriented, working on the outside. We believe that people should step away from the computer. I will never change that thought. We also agree that everything is about type D, type diabetic. Everyone is a diabetic or living with diabetes. Uh, we try to refrain from labeling type 1s, type 2s. And our, our mission is to educate everyone on the differences of diabetes, but by doing it together. Anyways, One Disease World Voice came out of that, that thinking of being a grassroots, totally activist site about type D. And the one goal I had always wanted to get to was, I, I kind of, I've always been impressed with the site Mashable.com. If you want to check it out, it's great. It's started by Pete Cashmore. Started out as a blog, covers social media, and covers it extremely well. It's one of the top ten blogs in the country, in the world, for social media. And I thought, boy, wouldn't that be something for diabetes, to have a, a, a concept like that where we cover every every possible category possible and put out the news stories that we get on news alerts but with a little bit of personality to them you know have writers that actually could take a personal interest in the story and talk about it and and further get into doing our own reporting our own news our own opinions reviews and such i didn't think it could happen right away so we started working with wordpress which is what we use now we started out by having pages on Facebook for categories. That seemed to work very well. We started adding blogs on our site. And we kept everything kind of just the way we were going. People could write blogs. We invited people to become writers or editors, so to speak, of either categories like technology, research. And I'm going to skip a lot because you can see all that by going to the site at onediseaseworldvoice.org. But the thing was, we have found in the past that when we... Instead of building it and they will come, we have worked on the premise of let's get them to come to us and then we'll build it for them. And it's worked for us. We've worked backwards and it's worked very well. Tom, Patty, my wife, Tom, my right-hand person, uh, Patty, my other right-hand person, uh, the kids have all been involved in this project in one way or another through graphic arts uh, with our daughter Lisa, my son-in-law Chris is the programmer, uh, Tom I met off a of video, he, he saw a video, he jumped on board, he's become the managing editor, um, Patty is co-founder with me, she's the one who started all this by getting me inspired to open a site and continually grow, help us fund it, uh, we, as, as you know, as of now, we don't take donations, we don't have sponsorships, but we are opening the doors for that. The thing is, One Disease World Voice has changed. It's changed its course to where I wanted it to go way back when. I wanted to be something that was important to people and be able to give them the information they needed without a stereotype. Instead of categories like type 1 or type 2, we're giving you the news about diabetes and diabetics. And some of this news is for type 2, some of it's for type 1, some for gestational, some for type 1 and a half, uh, type threes, it doesn't matter. The point of the matter is the news is there. And we want to put it out there not by label, but by category of the type of news, whether it's technology, research, mobile apps, uh, social good. And the thing is, we've always been inside the diabetes online community. Well, now we've taken a step on the outside. And what we offer to current writers and future writers is a chance to talk about what they see, to take the news that we pull in and put it out there in a 
positive format or negative format, whatever it is, but get the news to the diabetics, to the people who need to read this, and also to educate others about diabetes. I find that having these news sources, you know, we're linked in with Google News Alerts, we're linked in with med medical alerts, uh, Medscape, WebMD, I mean, it, it just goes on and on. And we get these news alerts daily. And what we've, done, what we've done is Tom breaks them down by category and then he sends them out to the writers, the reporters, editors, however you want to look at it. And then it's up to you to pick a topic, uh, if it's in your category, if you're doing research, like Ali B, uh, she does our research topic, and she can pick, she might get five news stories. So she picks one or two that, she, that are personal to her, and the others will get posted. The thing is, we work in conjunction with Facebook right now. It works very smoothly. Uh, you post on the site, you, you click on the post to Facebook, it goes to the fan page there, which is, let's say, research. It gets posted there, it automatically gets tweeted out on a Twitter account. And boom, we get picked up all over the place. We, we've come to that spot where I wanted to be. And we've come there faster than I expected. Now the next step is to go further by doing our own reporting, doing interviews, doing reviews of products, talking about social good in the diabetes community. It might be about some of the sites. It might be about projects that some of the groups are putting on. We've positioned ourselves to step outside of the, the diabetes online community and now discuss the community that we were inside with. We need to be objective. We need to look and say, you know, be honest about what we see. We need to report what we see. And we need to help people and guide them through what they're finding. I mean, Facebook is full of sites for diabetics. The, the, the web is full of sites for diabetics. It would be great if we can help people facilitate what sites are best for them. Certain sites are not going to be adaptive to a person's lifestyle. Uh, and that's something I talked about in a blog the other day where we're still having wars between type 1s and type 2s. Some type 2s don't feel comfortable in certain uh, communities. And I think we need to help people in general just know what these communities are all about. Know what the projects are. Find out about them. Do more research about it and write a story about it. We are going to be the media, the new media outlet for diabetes. And I want to be the, the best news, social commentary, reviews, opinions that ever has been seen on the web. I want others to follow our uh, format. I want others to pick us up and take our news stories and publish them. Um, we're at a point now where we're viable. We are a viable source for sponsorship. We're a viable source for advertising. And we're going to start looking into that, which means that the writers, the editors, uh, wherever you're positioned, will start getting compensated at some point. I don't believe in keeping uh, a lot of the money. My idea is let's pay for what it takes to run the site and then the balance of everything will split between everybody. Um, but know that it does cost us, and Patty and I have been funding this for three years. And we're not looking to recoup those three years of money, but what we're looking at is if we can pay, start helping to defray the cost monthly, that'd be great, but we want everyone to earn something. If you're interested in writing, we want to know about it. You don't have to be the best writer, you just have to want to do this. We can help you. Uh, I'm not the best writer. I've been told I write like I speak. Uh, some people say that's a compliment. Others say that's not good. Um, but for me, it's how I write and how I get my point across. You're welcome to contact us. You know, send us an email uh, at info at onediseaseworldvoice.org. You can send it to Mark John at onediseaseworldvoice.org. Tom is TRCM, I believe, or TRECM at onediseaseworldvoice.org. If you just send it to info, info, that's the best, and attention it to either Tom or Mark, Patty, whichever. The point is we need some writers. We need some editors. Uh, we want people who are devoted to what you're doing. If you don't know about diabetes, that's okay. 
if you want to learn about diabetes by writing about it, that's great. Um, but I need people that really care and, and want to make a difference. We're still a social good site. We are still a grassroots organization. We're not a nonprofit, but we are a grassroots organization full of activists and advocates. And that's the way we want to produce the news. That's the way we want to present ourselves. Uh, we are making up press passes for everybody that is on the site. Uh, you will be able to apply for different uh, functions where if you want to go, um, you can put in for a press press pass. Uh, if you contact me, I'll help you do all the work. We just got our first uh, conference, Help 2.0 in San Francisco. We are covering it. I'll be covering it with Patty. Uh, we've been approved for press passes and we'll be covering it live while we're there for the three days of the event. If you have a conference going on, a health fair or something that you want to cover, let me know. Let Tom know. We'll get everything put together. We'll get you a press pass and boom, you can go. I want to thank you. We've got to cut this video short. I went longer than I expected. I'm going to be setting up a couple more videos that talk more about where we came from. But just know that now we're at where we want to be at this moment sooner than we ever expected. And now it's time to really go forth and become what we really want to be, which is a news media outlet for diabetes. Uh, I thank you for spending some time here today. I promise to do a few more videos and we'll get this thing uh, rolling with more writers and more editors. And I want to thank you guys that are already here, Lori, Ali, Dennis, um, Leslie. I thank you all for already signing on. And please, if you know anyone that wants to join us, get them in touch with Tom or myself. And let's get more writers and editors on board. And let's make One Disease World Voice the powerhouse that it can be and the readability that it should be and get people following us and, and relying on us for the news that's out there. Thanks again. Have a great day. And I'll be making another video probably tomorrow for everyone to listen to. Have a great day, guys.